All right, so you can see I've got all the plugins here and I'm going to bypass uh, the tape and the Maserati plugin and leave the level um, meter on here so you can see exactly what's happening. And um, I'll keep the, the limiter on as well to catch all the peaks that go through. There probably aren't any anyway, but um, I'll just leave that on as well because it gives a bit of a sound to the track. Um, so first off, let me play the track with, with uh, without the plugins on and then I'll show you and I'll explain to you exactly why I use these plugins and what's going on with them as well. So have a listen to this track check this out Looking for a time when they wanna be right asking for the slow to be lifted thoughts about stored up in my mind just to seem right can't we just go what am I missing feel conviction in the state of mind to have the keys right to this car who I'm getting driving off the edge I can't believe I had this chance right all I'm seeing all right so you kind of get an idea of the track it's a very full dense mix and this is my track uh, i'm actually the artist on this track as well so i produced it everything um so i'm the one who mixed it um and i'm kind of particular about the way i want to have this track sound so that's the reason why i don't normally send my stuff away for mixing but um, and I can do the job myself. I'm pretty good in that respect. Uh, but anyway, uh, the track itself, it's it's got that real thick uh, guitar as well and uh, a, lot of, a lot of bass, a lot of things going on. The vocal kind of sits there well as well. But what I'm trying to achieve is just give that extra bit of lift, uh, presence and a little bit more thickness in the mids maybe. Um, so that's why, why I kind of looked at tape and this uh, Maserati Groots plugin because they kind of do that that t well tape anyway gives a bit of compression so it gives that thickness and fullness it may give you a bit of harmonic content as well um, due to the fact that you're working that way the other thing as well that I'm trying to uh, achieve here is carve off some of the high-end stuff um, and I'll just show you what this sounds like first with the tape so you can hear it so let me just play the tape uh, without without the plug-in then play with it on there as well so I'll play the track now have a listen to this Asking for the slow to be lifted Thoughts of bad stored up in my mind just to seem right Can't we just go? What am I missing? Feel conviction in the state of mind to have the keys right To this car, who am I kidding? Driving off the edge, I can't believe I had this chance right All I'm seeing, I failed the mission Devil on my shoulder, but as sure as I can be light I gained it back no longer I believe I can't be free of being the same night The devil thought he had me Just kidding Okay, so the tape to me it's carving out a little bit of the real high stuff um, and it's really just giving me that nice thick warmth that tape kind of gives you. Um, I don't actually have a real tape uh, recorder like this here in my studio so this is the easiest way for me to get that tape feeling on my track um, and probably the cheapest way to do it as well. Um, so this plugin here you can actually um, use this in a couple of different ways. What I've done is I've bypassed the monitor input section which is the preamp part of the tape and it just has the harmonic content of some of the tape so I've got I pretty much reduced the noise down to nothing and I've got it on 7.5 IPS which cuts off some of that little you know a little bit of the high-end stuff so it gives it that nice smooth uh, warmth of tape so that's kind of what I did there um, and with that plug-in there I'll just uh, leave that there for now and then this plug-in here which is the groups by Maserati uh, this is in conjunction with Waves he made this plug-in specifically the way he works is from what I read anyway is that he likes to have just small amounts of things added so small additions to the, the track, um, not, not too much where it's gonna be that noticeable, but just additional stuff that gives it that extra fullness. So have a listen to the sound of the track without it, and then I'll play it with the plugin on as well. Looking forward to the time when they wanna be right. Asking for the slow to be lifted. Thoughts of bad stored up in my mind just to seem right. Can't we just go, what am I missing? Feel conviction in the state of mind to have the keys right To this car, who I'm kidding Driving off the edge, I can't believe I had this chance right All I'm seeing, I failed the mission Devil on my shoulder, but as sure as I can be light I gained it back, all my vision No longer I believe I can't be free of being the same night The devil thought he had me, just kidding 
Okay, so you can hear that's added a little bit of that higher end frequency stuff. So that's kind of the reason why I took some out with the tape so I could add some back later on with another diff additional plugin. And the way this plugin works is the sensitivity dial is basically your threshold for this plugin. And then you're, you know, adjusting it to suitable with a green or a yellow light. So in between those two, apparently is the best way to get this plugin. And then I've reduced the output gain by minus 4.9 so I could level match the best that I could. So obviously you guys could see on the meter there there that there wasn't much gain uh, difference between the the sound um, and then i've got a bit of a bit of lows a bit of mids and some high frequency added and a tiny bit of compression so um, all of this is based on clockwise so if you go clockwise uh, it's going to add if you uh, take away anti-clockwise and it's taking away that makes sense um, so the way that i work with this plugin is i basically went to the preset for rmb pop master and I just hit that and then I adjusted it to taste on my, you know, based on how I want it to sound uh, in the track. So it's kind of a really neat plugin. It really does give you that extra, uh, just that little bit of uh, extra 3%, maybe, I don't know, like 2% even possibly. Um, but just that, that sound that you can get, um, just a bit of lift and a bit more mids. Um, that's kind of what I was going for with this track. I felt like it didn't need too much and it definitely, it sounds good how it is. Um, it's just, just the way that you work with mastering. So let me just play the track and I'll bypass these two plugins and I'll show you the difference between what they're adding and taking away when they're bypassed. So let's play. Moving forward to a time when they wanna be right Asking for the slow to be lifted Thoughts of bad stored up in my mind just don't seem right Can't we just go? What am I missing? Feel conviction in the state of mind to have the keys right To this car Driving off the edge, I can't believe I had this chance right All I'm seeing, I feel the mission Devil on my shoulder, but as strong as I can be light I gain it back, all my vision No longer I believe I can't be free of being the same night The devil thought he had me, just kidding Tell me so you can hear it's not a whole lot. It's just little bits that help get the track to where I want it to be and where it needs to be. Um, and that's kind of what these plugins are for. So tape is specifically good for giving that extra harmonic richness, the, the compression that tape gives you. This group's plugin is definitely good for giving you the extra lift without too much destructive or additive stuff there. And again, just the metering plugin here, this is showing me what's going on with the actual whole set situation there. So if you want to check these plugins out, like I said, there'll be links in the description below uh, where you can purchase these plugins off waves and um, it does help my channel out as well when you do that because i get a small percentage from the sale it costs you nothing to do it as far as it, it doesn't cost any additional to buy it through that link um, but it's definitely a way you can help me out Hopefully this helps you out if you understand kind of what the whole uh, the gist of this kind of situation is and what I'm trying to explain in this video. But I'll give you more updated videos about how I mastered this track and when I finally come to the final process of this as well, I'll go through a full tutorial and explain it all. But this is just a little tip on the way, so I thought it might help you out. So if you like this, remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.